Hi folks and welcome to the Digital Leaders 2014. I've done this brief presentation just to explain to you about what Digital Leaders is all about at Giovanni School. So here goes. Uh, firstly, it's not a club. That's not what Digital Leaders is about here. It's about leading different things in school. So it's not turn up every week, do something for half an hour and then that's it until the next week. It's a bit more than that. I want you to to get involved in the idea of digital leadership around Chew Valley School. So it's about you taking on something you feel comfortable with, challenging yourself and then improving the school based on it. And you've got to have some skills and knowledge and experience. And if you do all that, put that into the pot, it will be an improvement to the school. Okay? So what is a digital leader? Okay, there are different types of digital leaders that we're going to have at Chew Valley. There is the tech team, there is the media team, and there is the dev team. And you can choose to be part of one of those teams. Okay. The tech team is uh, responsible for four different roles. One of them is troubleshooting, so learning how to solve IT problems. And you need to spend some time with the technicians, and they're going to show you around our network, and they're going to show you the help desk system, and some of the common problems that we have. And then you will learn how to troubleshoot those. Uh, be very good for your CV, or if you're doing UCAS applications, brilliant for that sort of stuff. And then if you've got problems in a classroom, you can solve it without waiting for the technicians. Um, also, we'll, we'll be doing some extracurricular activities with that as well. There's hardware and software research, so I want all of you to think about this, um, but the tech team will be responsible for recommending them. New hardware and software that we don't have in school at the moment, but you'd like to see. And obviously there's, there's budget requirements and stuff with that, but I do want you thinking about what the school doesn't have and then how we can fund that, how we can get the things. Some of the software that you're looking at will be completely free and open source. And especially those we're really keen to put on. We've put at least 15 new open source software programs on since 2012. And we will continue to do that. And we've invested a lot in new hardware around the school. Um, so if you can recommend any of that new stuff for the network, then brilliant. There's also the tech experts team and the mobile app review team. And we're looking to launch a digital newspaper, which is going to go on the internet. And uh, what we want is some tech experts to share their knowledge of how to do certain things or things that are difficult, whether it's something that you've learned within ICT lessons or something you know at home, um, or some computing stuff. And also, if you, you like mobile apps, so I'm looking for an Apple mobile app reviewer, I'm looking for an Android one, and also uh, for a Windows phone app reviewer. So if any of those sort of interest you, maybe you want to join the tech team. The other one is to run a lunchtime coding or design club. So if you've got specific skills in Scratch or in Flash or maybe in Photoshop or Fireworks and you do want to share those with a group of people, very small group, uh, who would like to learn them too, then uh, you're going to share those expert knowledge to other students. And you can choose for a teacher to be there if you want to, a computing teacher, um, or if you want to run it by yourself, that's absolutely fine. But ideally, sharing your skills and bringing everyone else up to the standard that you are. That's the tech team. If that interests you, brilliant. If it doesn't, maybe the media team does. And the media team has four different bits as well. One of them is looking at photo capture. So it's going around capturing the events that are happening within school, whether it be clubs or teams, um, or extracurricular stuff, or enrichment activities. And you'll be responsible for capturing those photos, transferring them into the media library, and then also perhaps you'd like to do the uh, the photo editing bit or you want to leave that for someone else and the photo editing is using Photoshop or other design tools to be able to edit photos for the digital newspaper for our social media websites uh, for any banners and stuff that we need doing you'd be editing those photos and adding them on there if you're very good at graphics if you are a good digital graphics designer then perhaps you want to join the media team for the creating the banners the buttons the backgrounds that we need um, loads of different images that we're going to have as part of the digital design clubs uh, we want you creating those so if you've got a little artistic flair on a computer maybe you'd like to join the graphics designer team there there is also a video editor so if you've got specific skills in video creation and we know that's not a common one so I'm, I'm not expecting loads of people to want to do this but if you would like to edit the videos that are created um, and then upload them onto school sites like YouTube. There, there's a couple of times a year that we need people to do that. So if that's the commitment that you'd like to do, brilliant. If the tech team and the media team isn't what you want, then perhaps it's the development team that you've chosen uh, to come here for. And that involves web page design. So we do need people to create new websites for the school all the time. 
and that's on an ad hoc basis at the moment but ideally I'd like to spend a bit more time doing those so there's going to be loads of club websites which need to be done um, some of it's just advertising flyers some of it's fully fledged websites and the teams for the clubs and the, um, the, the school uh, environment need to be created if you want to do some of that web page design based on your year 8 knowledge or year 10 knowledge of websites or even further brilliant we'd love to have you there's also people who publish and maintain the articles on the website so I've separated that the design of the website being the people who actually code it and then the publishers are the people who take the articles and put them online so we're always going to need improvements so the designers are always going to be there and then the publishers will be the people putting those news uh, onto the school websites perhaps you like the idea of scratch game development so you've you've created some scratch games in year seven and eight you really want to push the envelope on this you want to be able to create some brilliant scratch games and they have to be quite advanced um, and i'd like to give you the time to do that so as part of the digital leadership team you'll be developing those scratch games during lunch times during your own time at home but then also perhaps you'll then move to the tech team when you're finished and you will share your knowledge of that with other people within school by running a scratch game developer club so it's very much a tech skill up version but it's also seeing what you can make and that'll change every year we'll do scratch game development one time and then maybe a new game development or new app development the next if you're in year 10 and above and doing computing you may have seen uh, the MIT app inventor stuff if you've come across it as part of 789 and we want to get involved brilliant otherwise the clubs mainly restricted to those higher levels and we'd like some people who can create some mobile apps so I'd like to develop some mobile app suite for the school uh, if you've used TinyDB and the connections to that so you can save the stuff as persistent storage brilliant mobile app developers you are what we need so that's the three teams there is also a further thing if you don't feel that you fit into any of those teams yet perhaps you'd just like to be a digital leader in training so maybe you don't have the skills or the knowledge or the experience to contribute to one of those bits but you'd like to work with a member of the team then uh, we're more than happy for you to do that because I ideally I'd like loads of digital leaders by the end of this but um, if you want to be a digital leader in training you pair up with someone else who's already part of the tech team media team or development team learn what they're doing deputize for them sometimes fill in for them when they're away and eventually when you feel that you're ready and we feel that you're ready you'll become a full digital leader so what do you need to do next those are the three teams or the digital leader in training what do you need to do after listening to the video well I'd like you to decide which team you want to join is it the tech team is it the media team is it the dev team when you've decided complete the Google form that's attached to this link and also start generating ideas so you've chosen your team chosen what you wanted to do start collaborating with the other people in the team getting some ideas together and talking to me about it as well on what you want to do as part of digital leadership because this could be an absolutely huge thing it's going to be brilliant on your CV that you have uh, connected with so many people in the school but also led the digital leadership team within Chew Valley thanks very much complete the Google form when you're ready